Hi everyone, we're back. Good morning. My name is Simon Kuipers. Hi, my name is Ian Steen. And we're here in the Tiaf Stadium, the Center of Excellence in Hearing Pain. And we're gonna talk about some training equipment today. Today we're gonna talk about um, some equipment you can use for training. For example, an elastic cable. And a corner belt. And we show you how to use them, but also how to make them. This is the material to make a corner belt. Uh, you can use a seat belt, for example, and we bought this in the garden store. In the Netherlands, they use this to hold trees together when they still have to grow. So when you buy it, it's a long belt, and you have to cut it in pieces, and of course then you have to make a knot. I will show you how to do it. Voila. Now we're going to show you some corner belt exercises. The best is to do this with two people. Of course you can also tie this one around a pole if you have one, but it's good to do this with your teammate or your coach so you can receive feedback. So you put the corner belt around you. I'm stable. It's strong, I can hold him, and he can go into the skating position. So the skater takes the position. I'm holding the skater, the cable is tight, and he goes slowly up and back into the skating position. And make sure there's one line of nose, hip, toe. And of course there's two legs, so you can also turn around and do the other side. Slow movements, up and down, you feel pressure on your legs, you're stable, with your the balance on your whole foot. Okay. And of course you can also do this if you tie this one around a pole and in front of a mirror, so you have straight away you can see what you're doing. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do some corner steps. It's called a corner belt. So we go in the skating position and we slowly gonna make some corner steps. Get your position. I make small steps and I try to keep the pressure even on the cable. And the skater starts making small steps. And it's important that as soon as you place your foot on the ground, you feel pressure. So you want to, you straight up want to push. So as soon as you push your foot on the ground, you push away. Push, 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 push. What you also can do on the corner belt is practice the straight line. You first go into the skating position. You lift this leg, there's pressure all the way. I'm in the middle of my foot. I feel pressure in my leg, pressure in my butt. Try to have my upper body as low as I can. And I bring this knee in and I place it and I stretch this one. I bring it next to the other one. Bring it back, push. It's important that you keep your shoulders horizontal and your hip line horizontal. Bring this leg backwards, bring it in, place your foot. made out of three pieces. The elastic you can buy in a sailing store. This thing to make the connection with, you can also buy in a sailing store. And this is a band and you can buy it in the adventure store, outdoor stores. Um, and maybe you have to tie them up like, like this.
there's a big difference between the, these two cables. For example, this corner belt does not give any stretch, but it gives you very direct feedback. So as soon as you feel like you're losing pressure, you feel it with this. With this cable, it's way more stretchy. So the feedback you give and you get, there's some delay on there. So the exercises we've just done uh, with the corner belt, you can also do it with these, but there's many more options with this cable as well, and we're gonna show you now. For example, what you can practice is a start. So I make, there's some tension on the cable. Ready, go! Use the cable here on dry land, but of course you can also use this on the ice to practice starts with a bit, bit more resistance. If you do this exercise, make sure the pole or the thing you put your left stick around is strong enough. What you can do, you go into skating position, make a couple steps, and then you go back. Make sure you have the right position, knees, pressure in the middle of the foot, knee forward, hip low, shoulders low. So this is a kind of specific weight training. If you don't have any facilities, it's very easy just to cable a pole and you can start doing some training exercises. You can also use this cable for an overspeed sprint training. Just build up some pressure. Ready, go! Next time, next video, we're going to talk about the lab work for the coaches and also some other tips and tricks for the coaches. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye-bye.